The results of the national elections in Iraq were shocking, but they weren't necessarily surprising. Less than 45% of eligible voters cast a ballot. Most didn't vote at all because they were frustrated with the current crop of leaders who have consistently failed to improve their lives. This explains why Muqtada Sadr's Sirun coalition appears to have won a narrow plurality. Sadr has cultivated his status as an arch Iraqi nationalist and the champion of average Iraqis. Even still, Sadr didn't win by much, so his ability to determine the governing coalition, let alone dictate and dominate it, is going to be very limited. Prime Minister Abadi could easily retain power as a compromise candidate, or the Iranians might squeeze the various Shia parties until they agree to Tehran's preferred candidate, as they eventually did back in 2010. But for my money, the most important question is not who becomes prime minister right now, it's what happens when the government fails to deliver better governance. Because it's all too likely that they will fail, especially since the United States seems uninterested in providing the help and guidance that would be needed for them to succeed. Do you think that the Iraqi elections matter at all for American interests? Let us know in your comments. Also let us know what other topics you'd like our scholars to cover in 60 seconds, and be sure to like and subscribe for more research and videos from AEI.